What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I've waited all day for the FedEx guy to show up to finally show you guys the new contour stylus by Victoria Beckham Beauty. They finally came into the mail. I did a little reel with them for my Instagram channel. So check out my Instagram Sonia underscore underscore Butler if you just want to see some nice little reels, some photos. I'm a little less active when it comes to posts but in stories you'll definitely see more of my real-time experiences. So please follow me there as well if you want to support my channel. Now if you guys are new here, my name is Sonia and I love luxury beauty and one of the beauty brands that I do follow actively is Victoria Beckham Beauty. I have an entire playlist of all my Victoria Beckham Beauty content. So if you want to fall into the rabbit hole with me, please check out that playlist and also consider subscribing after this video if you liked this video in the end. Now I can't wait to put something on my face because I'm quite bare face right now, but you know what? Let's first get into some of the details. Of course, like always, you get a really beautiful Victoria Beckham Beauty pouch with every purchase. If you've never purchased from the brand, you get this with every single purchase and you can reuse these. I tend to use this as, for example, packing cubes when I travel. You could put your clothing in it. This is a smaller size. They used to have these bigger sizes but they kind of like scaled it down to the smaller size you can also put your dirty laundry in here basically you can do a lot with this and I keep all of mine I have a ton of these so I'm a little embarrassed to say then of course the outside packaging is this you know very Victoria Beckham Beauty ask a unicorn like always everything comes in this white unicorn with a black text here you'll see that it has a 24 month shelf life you'll see that it's made in Italy and it has a 1.1 grams of net weight now I paid 36 euros for one of these contour stilos so 1.1 grams net weight for 36 euros ah someone calculated this on instagram and it basically the outcome was like okay it's just it's even more expensive than the westman atelier contour stick and you guys know i love the westman atelier contour stick mine is completely used up and i cannot believe that there is a contour product out there that's even more expensive than this one this is my favorite by the way so it definitely has some competition but i still picked up two of the shades because i wanted to test them out there's currently four shades available i picked the two lightest shades travertine and marble. Travertine is made for fair to light skin tones and marble is made for light to medium skin tones. If I wasn't reviewing, I probably would have only purchased marble because I'm light to medium skin tone. I can kind of go always in the winter time. I'm definitely more of a light and during the summertime, I'm like a straight up medium. I figure why not just grab these two shades because I it kind of speaks to me and I really love this brand. Then when you open up the packaging, you get this beautiful white Stilo. I absolutely am in love with the packaging. It to me is a little bit reminiscent of Violet FR's packaging because on one side you'll have the dot that basically indicates what color this is and on the other side you have this golden like VB logo. In terms of size it's exactly the same as the eyewears by Victoria Beckham Beauty. I have a separate videos on the eyewear but these are the exact same packaging except one of them is white and the other one is black but if you open them up you actually see that the system is completely the same so you open up the cap and you can twist up the contour product and you can twist it down again the size is also exactly the same so i did some comparisons to both of those to quickly move on to the description it does say it's a refined contour bullet to sculpt and subtly enhance the nose and facial structures it's a slim crayon which allows you to sculpt for precision and ease and should glide smoothly it's designed to be worn on bare skin or layered it should last all day clean ingredients for flexible shades you know i'm always a bit skeptical when it says flexible shades shades but the brand is known to continue on adding shades after the success of a particular product so I'm assuming that at some point they will continue on to add some shades it should have a neutral tone for a natural in real life finish some of the key ingredients in here that they like to promote is squalane which is a moisturizer for the skin line fill which should be wrinkle smoothing and blue lotus wax which should soften and protect the skin and create a long-lasting true color adhesion and wear. The Blue Lotus Wax should also be in the Cheeky Posh sticks, so the blushes that they have. Additionally, when you look on the box uh, and you see the ingredient list over here, you see that mica is one of the first ingredients on the list, which is definitely interesting to see, which I can imagine this will mean that this is a very shiny formula, so there is some you know, reflect to it. And after that, you see a lot of oils, vegetable oils, uh, castor seed oil, uh, jojoba, 
you'll see a shea butter. So I'm imagining this is gonna be a very creamy, kind of reflective formula. Check out the website for the full ingredient list if you wanna see that, and of course, what the Clean Beauty Promise is for Victoria Beckham Beauty, because they do market themselves as a luxury clean beauty brand. When you look at the swatches, you'll see the two swatches of the two shades. You'll see Travertine, which is definitely a very fair toned, kind of bronzing type of color. It looks like a neutral bronze to me, not yet for a contour, but we haven't seen it on the face just yet. This is Travertine, and of course, next to that, you'll see Marble, which is the one made for me definitely a shade deeper and if I do look at the website I'll give them that it does look like each you know shade up is quite significant you know what I mean so um, they did really try to stretch the shades out and the deepest one does look like it's for deep complexions I also decided to do some comparison swatches so here you have the comparison swatches you'll see travertine up top marble then you'll see West Atelier Biscuit. This is the new Chanel bronzer, the Healthy Glow bronzer in 390. Makeup by Mario Contour Stick Light Medium. Charlotte Tilbury Light Medium Contour Wand. Then you'll see Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, the big bronzer in medium. Sculptino Getty from Tower 28 and two Rare Beauty bronzers this one is happy soul and this one is bright side I think when it comes to travertine, the ones closest to it is Rare Beauty Bright Side, the Contour Stick by Makeup by Mario. And I'm gonna throw it in there. It does look a little bit like the Contour Stick from West Manitilly, but I think West Manitilly is a bit more neutral toned. I love the tone of West Manitilly. It's one of the best, I think the best contour tone. So I'm already kind of skeptical about this being a proper contour color, but we'll see in the demo, of course. Then for marble, I think I think the one that's closest to it is the light medium shade the contour one by Charlotte Tilbury it's definitely this is a liquid bronzer so it's definitely gonna be a different finish I'm just trying to you know show you guys kind of what they look like so enough talking let's put some of this on the face I can't wait to demo this I want to demo this like they did on the website they have these two little crosses so let's go into the first shade the lightest shade this is the shade travertine I don't know what travertine means by the way can can someone tell me and I I want to zoom you guys in because that might be quite important also you guys um if you're wondering what i have on the eyes i have sunflower the eyewear sunflower on the eyes so let's take the hair out of the face i've zoomed you guys in and let's go in with travertine on one side i'm gonna go in Woo. okay weirdly this is translating much cooler, I feel, on the face in real life. I don't know what this looks like on camera, but so far, pretty good. Now this is showing up. It's so smooth. It almost slips on my oily complexion, but it is very smooth. Also, the finish is definitely, I don't want to say glowy, but definitely there is some glow to it. So this is Travertine. Let's put this one to the side and let's go in with Marble next. Ooh, definitely a deeper shade. I'm gonna use two BK Beauty brushes. I have been really enjoying these brushes. Unfortunately, they did crack around the handle. So I messaged BK Beauty and I told them about these cracks and they're sending me new ones. I just wanted to let you guys know. My favorite BK Beauty brush is this one, the 109. And I'm gonna use the 199 for the lighter side and I'm gonna use the 110 for the deeper side. The 110 I usually use for concealer, but you know, it works with every cream product.
so this is travertine all blended out please don't mind some of the dots you see here i do have hyperpigmentation on the cheeks so try to kind of see around it but this is kind of what the shade looks like it's very skin like it's very fair should i maybe try to apply a little bit more in the cheek to see if we can start building this up i'm going in heavy handedly by the way Okay, so you can, I think you can build this up. A little bit more heavy handed as well, over here. So this is Travertine all blended out. Let's blend out the marble side. Going in with the second layer of the marble side. So this was one layer. Let's go in with a second layer and go in a little bit more heavy handedly than they did on the demo. So marble on this side and travertine on this side. So this is the face with only the contour. Now I do want to add a little bit of blush, so I'm going to go in with Fever because I think Fever just really complements the look. Hey guys, this is the final look. Okay, so let's move into some of my final thoughts. It's hard not to do final thoughts without talking a little bit about the price, but let's first talk about, you know, application. This packaging, by the way, it does feel very luxe, and personally, I do like a smaller sized Stilo because I'm quite heavy handed with makeup. One of the bigger complaints I have, for example, with the Makeup by Mario stick, the contour stick, is that the surface area of the stick is just a little bit too big for me every single time i use this i kind of just go in with way too heavy of a hand i use too much product and it doesn't look really precise this gives me very precise application and i do like that you can easily do a little nose contour contour around the jaw area without going to overboard so in terms of packaging wise i think this is very smart it's very great for a minimalistic approach it's travel friendly it does feel luxe and i do like the uh, packaging that like the fact that they were going for this white this is the same white as you see on the new eyebrow pencil the eyebrow blade that they have so it does really fit the brand victoria beckham beauty of course has a lot of black packaging so I quite like that they decided to do the bronzers or the contour stilos in the light white packaging. It's also very easy to use. It has a pretty decent close system. You can click it open and click it closed again. Of course, you can roll up the product and roll it back down again. So it is very easy to use. Color wise, actually, I thought swatching the colors, they looked very close to my bronzer shades, especially travertine. But once I started applying, I will say it looks cooler on the skin uh, in real life than I actually anticipated. Then on the marble side, again, kind of felt bronzer vibes from it. I don't know if I would consider this a full contour, but I think that if you enjoy, for example, the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, this gives you a similar contour effect as the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand not the same formula or finish but more like the color tone is very similar to this I feel like it is very reminiscent so I will call them contour shades and I will call them contour stilos they are more contour than I actually thought from the swatches they blended out really easily I thought it was very easy to use very easy to blend out they're there is some buildability to it. Is that even a word? You can build upon this product so it was buildable and you can actually create a little bit more depth which you saw on both sides was definitely necessary, especially the travertine side needed a little bit more building up. It is a little bit warmer right now. So the marble side I actually think was 
um, better for my skin tone right now. Not to say that I don't like either side. Now this gives a very skin-like finish. Like I said, mica is the second ingredient on the list. So I do feel like there is some... I don't want to say luminescence because I don't want you guys to think that there's like a you know sparkle in this uh, of any kinds but I feel like there is some I don't know glow to this which I do really like now let's go to the part that I didn't really like one I had to build up the product on both sides to get kind of the preferred look that I wanted and you already get so little product the eyewear you get more product is 1.6 grams for 32 euros and this contour stilo you get 1.1 grams if I'm ready building up the product and I'm using more and more um, and I have such a big face guys like I'm using so much surface area um, this won't last me long at all like it's cute that they have a 24 month shelf life but if you are just looking at one contour product something that you can travel with <laughs> guys this is not this is not the product that will last you a long time i think you will run through this pretty quickly so i think that is the biggest con which is like price per how much you get in a little contour stick like this do i think it's a good product actually so far I like the finish, both of the sides, I liked the performance, and I actually like the colors more than I imagined. It has a lot of competitors, and this price point, I don't know guys, I feel like it's a little steep for me to <laughs> actually recommend it. Like I actually feel, I feel like, like it's a heavy burden to recommend these contour sticks. I'll be honest, I think that uh, a contour stick more expensive than the Westman Atelier contour stick uh, you really need to knock it out of the park. So far, I, I think it's a good product. I think it performed above average, but I don't know if I dare to say it like knocks everything out of the park. I love the Westman Atelier Biscuit Contour Stick Shade. This is a beautiful neutral tone contour stick, also very travel friendly. Also, very great packaging, strong magnet, so you can take it along. And if you're looking for a more affordable option, of course, you can look into the bronzers by Rare Beauty. Bright side is a little bit more neutral, so you can use it more as a bronzer, you know, contour bronzer type of situation. Makeup can always surprise you, and you can love makeup uh, over time. You start uh, developing holy grails. So I will let you guys know in a later video how these ended up in my collection, if they ended up in my rotation. Okay guys, so, so this is my six hour check-in. This is the contour stilo in marble over here. There's definitely a little bit of fading going on, but it still looks very natural. And it feels skin-like. You don't really feel anything on the skin, but there is a little bit of fading. On the other side, you still see a little bit of travertine but also this one has faded i think it's because it's such an emollient formula on the forehead i barely see anything so there is a little bit of definition and on the nose i think i just see marble and the travertine is almost completely gone so yeah so i think that's just the final thing that i'll say about these contour stilos guys if you like this video please make sure to press a like also if you like victoria beckham beauty as a brand and you want to follow the brand with me please make sure to subscribe to my channel comment down below if you have any questions if you want to see any other comparisons that i maybe have missed that i maybe can do some swatch comparisons in the community section i want to thank you guys all so much for watching i'll link everything down below and you know what? I'll see you guys next time. Bye.